What is going on, Phantom Army? It is your boy, Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again to Control. Hope you guys are liking this series thus far. Today, we're jumping into part seven of the series. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. That way, you guys don't miss out on any new action of this game, as well as other walkthroughs and videos on the channel. But let's get right back into this game here. So if you guys missed last episode, we were able to find where Dylan was being held in the uh, Panopticon. But we were not able to find him, and apparently he's back with Emily Pope and everybody else in the boardroom. So we're going to fast travel there and see what we can find out, guys. So we got some abilities that we can uh, upgrade here while we're at it. So there's one that I've been wanting to do is launch basic enemies when their health is low. So you're able to pick up enemies um, when their health is low, obviously. Uh, but they're only basic enemies, so not the enemies that have the shield. So we'll go ahead and get that one. Now that we have that, I'm assuming the next one is like large enemies. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to the boardroom and see what we can find out here. Get to the boardroom. Central executive. That's where we want to go. All right. So we're back at the executive branch and looks like we got to talk to Arish. Made up gibberish code. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish, and I won't let them stay his. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead into the boardroom and see if we can talk to Emily and see what's going on here from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the his signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the his, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. All right, guys, so we're going to speak with Dylan finally and see what he knows and see what's going on. I'm sure he's going to have some interesting things to say. So we'll go ahead and go up these stairs here. She have to write everything in her made up gibberish code. I'm assuming he's in here by the director's office. I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss. And a See, central executive. Looks like right, he's going to be. A security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like that. Said he's on the upper level. There he is. Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. 
I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be true. That? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy Stop it! Orange field! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I near worms of tune. You can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic, so safe, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The okay, so that was kind of interesting. Um, he's pretty much lost his mind due to the hiss and the bureau screwing with him. So, we gotta find the prime candidate program. It's in the containment. Prime candidate program. It's in the containment sector. So, the bureau probably didn't want me to hear any of that or know that he was gonna tell me all of that. So. 
I have a feeling this game's gonna get really interesting here pretty soon. So if prime candidate program. That it's on the containment sector. Let's go ahead. Where is the elevator? Let's look at the face of the enemy real quick. Let's look at our uh, menu here and see what our next mission is. Their mission definitely was updated. Jesse goes back to the central executive to reunite with her brother. Dylan, changed by the hiss, tells Jesse to go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector to discover the ugly truth about the Bureau. Jesse agrees, but in truth, she plans to go to look for the slide projector, the object of power Dylan revealed to be the cause of the hiss invasion. Okay. We gotta go to the containment sector. Let's see. I'm actually gonna go into the menu. I think. Actually, we're probably pretty good with weapon mods and stuff. We're probably good there. Let's go to the elevator. Containment sector. Okay. So I'm assuming it's going to show us where we want to go. Yes. So let's go this way. Hiss to deal with. health here. Looks like we got some more hiss out here in the corridor to deal with. Go ahead and change to our Pierce mod. They came out. Go ahead and take out this other guy. Where's he at? There we go. Some health back here. So creepy, dude. Okay. So, it looks like we have to go through logistics. We already opened this before. Emergency supply storage. That's a control point we took over before. Uh, possibly this way? We going the right way? No. Where do we have to go? This way. Okay. And we're going to hang a right. Uh, let's see. Wall of Honor. we get through these doors? Possibly? Open up this cabinet here. We can get through clearance level six. Okay. Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain. 
intense pressure behind the eyes and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? Thunder burst right out of him. Call Black! Get Marshall! That doesn't sound good. Alrighty, we'll open up this box here. Up this one here. So we have to go back through security to get through logistics. Okay, so we probably have to go back this way. Was easy. I say if we're going towards enemies, we're going in the right direction, so Let's see you probably have to go up these stairs. What's that? Medical wing security. Prime candidate programs up the stairs. Thank you for playing, sir. I think we got some correspondence we can pick up. Case files. Prime candidate program, right where we need to be. Okay, so we'll probably have to continue on this way. Find new prime candidates. The bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. Hmm, P6 and P7. I wonder if I'm P7. I wonder if Jesse is the other person. Nice. ones are creepy, dude. Okay, gotta take care of this guy. He's almost dead. Got him! Pick up all this stuff. Hell yeah. I think there's another mod over here. Okay, so we gotta take care of this hiss barrier. Are there blocks around anywhere that we have to take care of?
Be something to take it down. What if it's on the bottom level? Looks like we're able to go up here now. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and levitate. The hell? This isn't creepy I as hell. Bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Yeah, we're not watching this. That's just creepy. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this Yeah, that's just creepy. We're not gonna... Nah, we're not gonna delve into that one. We're just not. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the so projector will. Coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power. Something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the the boy, so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here, and and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. 
We'll make this work. All right, so a little insight from Darling. Sounds like something went horribly wrong and Dylan might have killed somebody, or at least that's what they want us to think. So we don't know whether to believe the Bureau or to believe Dylan at this point, because uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, honestly. We're getting two sides of the story, and we're not... I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. candidate program is behind us. Hands of corridor security. It's got to be through here because that's where the hiss was taking us, so. That's where we saw the projector. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. That's creepy. Could you imagine that? That'd be... wow. Look up all this correspondence and research records and stuff. Outfits? Say what? We can change an outfit? Okay, we have clearance level 6 key card. It's the enemy. Just goes back to the central... Uh, uh, slide project to the object of Dylan. In the Prime Candidate program, Jessica discovers that the Bureau has been watching her ever since Ordinary, believing her to be a candidate for the directorship. But we have a new... Uh, costume. Like. So let's head through the store here. Find the ordinary awe area. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. All this health back. It's just over here. More correspondence, okay. Dump this pod, get what's ever in here. Prime Canada program is on the second floor. Whoa! That sucked. I think there was more health over here, so we might want to pick that up before we go upstairs. Maybe. Thought there was more health around here somewhere? Maybe not. Okay. Never mind. Dylan and 
I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this, the house and being the director, just another cell? Who's really in charge here? Good question. Valid question. Enemies all over the place. Alright, looks like we got a control point we can cleanse here. Ability we could actually we can't Started okay never mind and it's never gone away. Okay, it looks like actually we have to go this way. <laughs> Access the ah ordinary area by rotating the turntable tracks. Okay. Um There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel. health back if it's possible. this health back. Nice. Not full health, but that's alright. Alright, so let's... Hmm, how do we get up on the turntable? That's the question. So there might be some kind of like, um... We don't want to deal with this astral protection thing. I think could seriously screw us up. Ah, uh, looks like we might have some stairs over here. 
Yeah, we're looking for it. Maybe Hang on. There's a control panel nearby. Be in here? Oh, this just looks like a uh, thing to get some collectibles. All right. Go up this way. Correspondence. Looks like we can get in through here. What's this? Okay, so we uh, rotated it. Got through the door here. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. Something's blocking it. Okay. What could possibly be blocking it, though? This right here. Okay, there's that. There's gotta be another one, right? There we go, now it's moving. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Okay, so now that we got it moving, is it gonna stop or do we have to go across it? Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, oh, it is gonna stop, okay. as well, right? up here, get some more collectibles. We have to get this open somehow? I wonder if there's like a door that we missed, or like a, uh, not a door, a button that we have to push in order to get that door open. Did we go through here? Nope, we didn't. here. 
Come on. Like one more shot to this thing. There we go. Took it out. All right. Is there another one? Oh, I thought I heard. I thought I heard it like cackle or something. Like there was another one. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'll go through here. Gunships and stuff. And where is the other block? Like we got three we gotta deal with total. Um, let's see, where are the other blocks at? Probably through these doors. If I had to guess. Yep, there's one. Okay, looks like we need one more. Uh, let's see, maybe... Store power to the elevator. Okay. Uh, let's see... Oh, here's the other block. And that one goes over here. Alrighty. Search for the slide projector object of power. Got a lot of missions. This this uh this part, man. Try to throw something at me. Don't you do it, man. Got him! Thought you were slick, huh? Alright. I don't think we can do anything with these switchboards or any of these consoles. No. Okay. Like we're on the right track here. Yeah, don't do that, man. Don't mess with me. I'm on a mission right now. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause 
And what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. All right. So I like these little messages from Darling. They're kind of interesting. They give like a little uh, segue into the story. Little, uh, why, why, why? Okay. I was like dancing inside the box for a second. That was weird. Taking care of these guys extra fast now with this upgraded, uh, upgraded energy collision stuff. The launch. have any abilities that we can spend no okay let's see what about the astral constructs can we do anything with that upgrade pierce you upgrade pierce up and form upgraded cool cool Let's go to our menu here and see what we can do with Pierce. Looks like we can add another weapon mod. Pierce aimed fire boost. Damage while aiming. Uh, let's see. What's this one? Pierce zoom boost. Damage while low on health. Let's do that one. We've got another object of power over there. What's this? Ordinary Aw Stage 1B. Let's see what they have on Ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Damn. Got the whole thing mapped out like a model. Search for the slide projector object of power, okay. Like a paper mache model or something. It's like there's stairs over here, which is cool. girl
taking out these guys one by one and get some of this health over here too. There we go. Easy. He doesn't have much more health left, so let's go ahead and take care of him. God damn! Sending out tons of grenades, dude! Holy crap! We found a slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Search the slide projector. Okay. There's stairs anywhere that I can get up to. I might have to go back this way. Freaking destroyed the entire model. Sorry, guys. They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature. Not real. I got that right. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Singh. What? I don't... No matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's... this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there, agents from I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. So if you guys noticed, if you've ever played Alan Wake, they mentioned Thomas Zane and Thomas, Thomas Zane is actually the one of the main uh, forces in Alan Wake. So that's pretty cool that they add Easter eggs like that. Um, so let's go ahead and where do we got to go? So there's a box over here that we can pick up. I just think it's cool when Remedy or games in general put in little Easter eggs like that. Because if you didn't play Alan Wake, you would have no idea why that's so cool. All 
All right. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. His cluster here. more health over here that we can grab. Stop hiding from me. This dude wants to keep hiding behind this frickin' pillar and stuff, dude. There we go. We should check that lab. Absolutely we should check that lab. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next.